It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on Aunt B's, the Aunt B actress, Frances Bobby A., her 1966 Studebaker was an object of a wild bidding war. Let's take a look. Most famous for her role on the Andy Griffith Show, uh, Frances Bobby A. played Andy's kind-hearted Aunt B. Uh, she decided to get behind the wheel after 50 years of not learning how to drive, and her car choice was Studebaker's. In fact, it was the only vehicle she would drive the rest of her life. Bobby A. once expressed to another Studebaker owner, uh, who she met from a car club, how emotionally attached she'd become to the automobile manufacturer. I'll shed real tears when this one passes on, she wrote in 72, per Me TV. Built in Ontario, Canada, per Hemmings, the 1966 Studebaker Daytona featured a GM uh, McKinnon 283 horsepower engine with a Studi 3-speed and overdrive manual transmission. Since Studebaker ceased production after the 1966 model, Bobby A. stored her car away at the garage past retirement. Actually, the very last time she drove it was to the grocery store and back when she lived in North Carolina. Following her final trip in the beloved vehicle, it remained in her basement for years uh, with expired plates from 1983. In 1990, she passed away and the car sat in the garage for some time. When discovered, the tires were flat, its interior was blanketed with fur from her many cats that slept inside. The old dusty Studebaker had left to auction with the director of North Carolina Center for Public TV, John Dunlop. At first, he thought the car would go for a few hundred dollars. However, Dunlop started to receive bids increasing into thousands. Once listed, the phone never stopped ringing. Dunlop told the Chicago Tribune in 1990 the Andy Griffith Show fans desired to sit in Aunt B's ride. The world wants Aunt B. Studebaker, he said. Her dusty, dented Studebaker Daytona. It's unbelievable. It just boggles the mind. Fred Fox, a car historian, spoke to the Tribune, explaining that the late model Studebakers aren't worth much, despite being rare. Uh, from MeTV, he was intrigued by his particular model, since it was Bobby A's. The thing that interested me so much is that later in the show, Mayberry RFD, she drove a 66 Studebaker and all indications are that it's the same car. Fox said, I, I never heard anyone who used their own car in a television series. Bobby A. was so attached to her Studebaker, she developed a love for the car. Not only was it her first vehicle ever, it, signed, uh, it signified an important part of her life. She further revealed her close bond with the specific make to her fellow club, uh, car club member. I've driven Studebakers for 40 years, all kinds, all models, and no other car, she said. Watching the pictures of the closing of the factory, I did indeed weep. That's all I got for you. Uh, pretty interesting little thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day. Don't forget uh, classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. You know where the description. You know where the link is. That's right. In the description. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.